Hello, I hope everyone is well. And it's Jennifer with Divine Threefold. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, coming to this video. This is going to be all about strengthening, stretching, and relaxing. So after our power uh, cardio hit workouts, the last couple workouts, I hope you really enjoyed those. Keep doing those on a consistent basis, and I'm telling you, we'll see results. Uh, but this is a time to just take it down a little bit. We're still going to work, get a great little workout, uh, but it's going to more incorporate stretching and um, relaxing as well. So you've come to the right place. This is for everybody. Everyone needs to relax, and some people need it way more than others, but everybody needs it. And it's so important. It's so important, the relaxing and the resting and uh, taking time to just slow down and calm the mind is just as important as our work in our activity and uh, uh, doing the exercises and so so important so we're going to just lay down i today you're going to need a wall so if you can pull your mat up to a wall i also recommend a little blanket if you have it nearby it's freezing where i'm at oh, so bear with me so just go, let's work. I want us to go ahead and take a child's pose to start. Actually, we're going to face the wall. We're going to just take a nice little child's pose. I'm going to kind of lean to the side here. And let's just take a nice child's pose here. Just start breathing, checking in with your body, seeing where you're at. Let that forehead completely rest to the mat. Bring your hands out in front so you feel that nice stretch under your arms. And let your hips fall. Imagining your sacrum drawing down towards your feet. Couple more breaths here. Nice job. And then I want you to come forward to the wall. And I just want you to be on your knees. And take your hands and just kind of lean forward so your head comes between your arms. So you get that nice stretch up the arms, under the arms, on the sides. And breathe here. And let your neck fall forward and just let, feel all the tension release out of your neck. And one more breath. And you can kind of scarecrow your arms a little farther. Take a breath here and come down. That's a great stretch for your upper back and body. So now let's go ahead and lay down with our feet towards the, on the wall and have your butt pretty close to the wall. A little space, but not too much. You want to be pretty close to have your butt pretty close to the wall. And then have your feet flat on the wall here, uh, knees parallel. A little up is fine if you, if it, whatever's comfortable. Make sure your lower back, whatever position you have your feet in, make sure your lower back feels good. Uh, we're going to be kind of rolling a little bit on our sacrum, so make sure your feet just, it's a good position. It feels good. So let's just take a breath here. And then I want us to go ahead and open our legs and kind of put our feet together in a little butterfly position and just let your legs fall open. This is a great way to do the butterfly stretch because the wall helps you to keep so you don't go too far, but whatever feels comfortable. And just use that wall for 
to see and play with where that stretch feels the best. If you're all the way down here, you can come all the way down here and just let your feet go. If you're not, then just keep your feet either just together and just let your knees fall open and play with it a little higher, a little lower. If you can let them completely release and fall open, but still have them on the wall. And you should feel that in the inner thighs, throughout your hips. This is a wonderful stretch to use the wall. And let's just stay here for another moment. It feels so good. And go ahead and assist and bring your knees back together. Let's put our feet back up on the wall. Now let's just kind of roll our feet. So come pull your feet back and be on your heel on the wall. And then you're just going to roll from heel to ball to toes and back. And heel to ball to toes and back. And let's just kind of stretch out the feet. And you'll feel the calves release. Breathe. Nice job. Now I want you to just keep your feet flat on the wall and start to just bring your toes, dome your feet and squeeze your toes, scrunch your toes all up and release. And then scrunch your toes, drag them against the wall and scrunch them all up, squeeze and release. And scrunch and squeeze. It's going to stretch out the feet, the toes. A couple more times. Breathing. Nice job. Just kind of shake those feet out. Roll the ankles around. That should feel good. We don't stretch our toes very often. Okay, so now feet back on the wall. We're going to take some bridges here. I want you to completely release your pelvis and kind of tilt a little bit forward. And then I want you to tilt a little bit back to tuck. And then I want you to lift right up. And then I want you to come right about here to where our knees and feet are parallel. Then I want you to articulate slow and control vertebrae by vertebrae each one at a time until you get all the way back down to your sacrum. And again, now kind of tilt forward, pull the pelvis back, articulating up and slow and controlled, squeeze the glutes here. And back down, slow and controlled, one vertebrae at a time until you come all the way, tilt forward again, bring it back, up, hold here, squeeze, use the wall, press your feet fully into the wall, and back down, articulate, slow, and down, and again, back up. And hold, squeeze those glutes here. Think of engaging the whole, all of your glutes, all of your thighs, and then back down slow and controlled. Nice job. Now I want you to come back. Let's take one more of those up. Hold here. Now let's just take some little pulses. Two, three. Squeezing those glutes. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, squeeze, and back down. Excellent job. Then I want you to remove, pull in one knee towards you, and we're going to come up on one side. Two, you don't have to worry as much here as the tilting the pelvis or pulling. Just lift straight up. And keep that other foot flat on the mat. I mean, I'm sorry, the other foot flat on the wall and release. Other leg, 
Just lifting one leg at a time. We're doing great quad work here, glute work. We're even involving the calves and the feet. And hold and down. Excellent job. Bring your knees into your chest. And then back up on the wall. Let's just let's go into a V and kind of let your legs slide open for a stretch here. Feel that your legs release. Go as far as you can where it feels still safe and comfortable for your body. And just let them fall open. A couple breaths. Now go ahead and assist your legs, bring them back together. And then I want us to drop one at a time. So we're gonna to go to the right and then bring that leg up. Kind of slide it against the wall to the left and up. Imprint that lower back into the mat. Pull that navel to spine. There's a lot of work going on here. Your inner, your outer thighs, your hips are involved, everything's involved here. Slowly bringing one leg up to meet the other. And down, this is, feels like a small movement, but there's a lot going on here. Keeping those abdominals, that navel pulled back towards your spine. A couple more. Slow and controlled. Steady that leg. Don't let it just drop. Nice job. And then just kind of shake out the legs. Excellent job. Now I want us to go back to open them a good distance, whatever feels comfortable. I want us to take our hands forward and we're going to just do some little pulses here for some great abdominal work. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going twenty, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, you've got this, 19. Okay, you've got this. Couple more times. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I want you to hold again. Hold here. I know. You've got this, just breathe through it. Couple more seconds and release. Great job, assist your legs, bring them back together. And then of course, we're gonna do some oblique work. So keep your feet together. And then I just want you to, you can either have your hands in the back of your head or you can just use your arms. And we're gonna just pulse to the side. One and two, coming up. Imagine coming up and to the side. Reaching up and to the side. Five, six, keep that lower back imprinted in the mat. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Again, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, you got this. Eight, nine, and ten. One more time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're almost there. Ten, and release. Great job. Take a moment there ah, to relax. That's great oblique work. Now one more, I want us to just reach up towards our feet like we're gonna grab them, but we don't quite grab them. And up, two, three, four, five, slow and controlled, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, and hold, 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 reaching farther if you can, and release. Great job, my abs are burning. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock back and forth here. Great job, now take your blanket if it's nearby. Just kind of drape it over you and I want us to do legs on the wall to end here because this is such an awesome position for us to do for our bodies. It helps with so much. Go ahead and open the palms of your hands to facing up and just let your feet just be natural. And I want you to please stay here as long as you can. This is such a wonderful place to be. And let's take some deep breaths. I want us to inhale big and deep all the way through the belly up towards the chest and then I want us to exhale out the mouth to where you feel that exhale, exhale moving all the way down 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 let your shoulders go let your head completely melt into the mat. Let your chest feel weightless. Your belly completely relaxed. Your hips, let them fall. All the tension away. Thanks for relaxing.